It has been five years since Jackson State last set foot on the Grambling State football field, and Saturday night, JSU came in with one thing on its mind. And I'm going to take back yeah. what the enemy done stole from me. Yeah. Give me my championship yeah. back. Yeah. Give me my yeah. back. Yeah. Before taking it back, Jackson State was giving it away. Eight seconds into the game, with JSU at his own three, center Nicholas Davis snaps the ball over the head of quarterback Brent Lyles. It goes out of the end zone for the safety and a 2-0 lead. GSU extended the lead when quarterback Devontae Kincaid capped off a six-play, 36-yard drive with a 13-yard run to go up 9 to nothing. But Jackson State would shake up the G-men after that, first on a two-yard touchdown run from Brent Lyles, his first of the season, then on a two-yard touchdown run from Jordan Johnson as JSU took a 14-9 lead over the defending Black College National Champs. <laughs> Grambling was able to get up and return to its form as the Tigers scored 13 unanswered points, including this 51-yard touchdown run from Martez Carter to retake the lead at 22-14. But Grambling's celebration was cut short for the moment when JSU pulled to within one on a 33-yard touchdown pass from Lyles to Benji Paris. That's as close as JSU would get. Kincaid connected with Lindemian Brooks on a 51-yard touchdown pass to make it 29-21 Grambling. And with under four minutes left, GSU turned a JSU fumble into a touchdown and Jackson State falls to 0-3 on the season by losing to Grambling 36-21. You know, we shot, again, we shot ourselves. The, we gave them nine points before the buses were, were even uh, shut off. So uh, you can't do that on the road to the defending national champ and defend the SWAT champs. You just can't do that. They're too good of a team to spot them nine points. But we came back and we fought back. At Grambling State University, I'm Rob Jay for JSU-TV.